How's it going, BR fans? Welcome back to Beam Review. Today, we're gonna be going over the eight different ways that you can make your BMW last forever. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, Beam Review, what we do here is teach you everything there is to know about your BMW. We also go over some really cool hidden tips, tricks, and features. So if that's something that you wanna stay in tune with, subscribe to the channel because we put out content every single week. So for this video, we're gonna be going over all the different ways that you can maximize the life of your BMW. I'm sure that if you have a BMW, you definitely love the vehicle and you're gonna to want to know all these different tips because they will help maximize your BMW's life. Before we get started, we did wanna mention our BMW X5 course. It is selling like crazy and so is the X3 course as well. The links for those are gonna be right down below. Again, sign up for these courses if you want to learn everything there is to know about your BMW X3s and X5s, there are tons of different things in these vehicles that you may not catch and may not ever know. So definitely take advantage of these courses so you can take full advantage of your BMW. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so for number one, it is going to be quite obvious, but it is going to be one of the most important ones, and that is going to be your regular maintenance. Now, one really cool feature is in all BMWs, they do have this menu called vehicle status. If you don't already know about this right now, if you say, for example, go into your car settings, if you go into car, and then if you search search for vehicle status, you're going to see this menu right at the end of the screen called required services. If you click on that, you can see all the different services and maintenances that are going to be due for your vehicle. One really cool thing that I do love about BMWs is that your oil changes only have to take place every 10,000 miles, which is phenomenal. But of course, the sooner you do that, the better. But yes, everyone, not only do you have to follow your regular maintenance, if you needed to know what the intervals were that is located within the owner's manual as well but one of the biggest things that i would recommend is that if your vehicle is under warranty i would still bring it to a certified bmw service technician the reason why i say that is because bmws can get quite complicated and that goes for all german cars in general whenever you do have a really expensive car it is very very important that you do follow that maintenance schedule because let's not forget that all these services and components they all work together so they do have to be done at a specific time and only a certified bmw technician will know how to do that. And one of the biggest reasons why you should bring it to a certified technician is not only that they'll do your oil change and whatever service is due, but they can also check to see if there was anything else wrong with the vehicle. And that could go a long way because of course, if one little thing is wrong, then it could lead to more serious problems. Some of the minor things that they can also let you know about is things like your tire wear, your brake wear, or if there was anything within the vehicle that was malfunctioning. So yes, regular maintenance, very, very crucial. So definitely make sure that you stay on top of those. It is very, very crucial. There is a reason why this is number one. Again, when in doubt about your oil change, get it done sooner rather than later. And we're gonna go over some reasons why that is very, very crucial. Way number two is gonna be to drive moderately or carefully. Now, this one is gonna be a very difficult one because I will say that if you have a BMW, you definitely do want to drive more aggressively compared to your average driver. But it is known that the vehicles that are driven very, very carefully do end up being the ones that do last the longest. Now, some of the details on driving carefully that you must pay attention to is, of course, driving in a non-aggressive manner, which again, I know it is going to be hard to do. And that goes for myself as well. Avoiding sudden stops and starts, avoiding hard acceleration, aggressive cornering, reduce wear and tear. And let's not forget that driving carefully will result in less accidents as well, which of course is a no-brainer on having your BMW last a long time. Last but not least, driving carefully will also help reduce your tire wear, which also leads to better fuel economy. Next up, the importance of using high quality parts and fluids. Now, of course, within the industry, there is tons of different products out there. And again, just simply by going to a certified BMW dealer or a service technician, you're gonna be in, you're gonna be in the best hands, but it is definitely noted that whatever part parts you use for your BMW and fluids, you want to make sure you're using high quality products. Now, the issue that many of us run into is that many tend to cheap out on this, which is going to be something that you don't want to do. There are tons of different aftermarket parts that you could get for your BMW as replacements. But of course, those are not recommended at all. You always want to stick to OEM fluids and parts in order to maximize the life of your vehicle. So when in doubt, always use the OEM parts and do not settle for anything less. Keeping it clean. Now this one is very underrated. Many would wonder how keeping a vehicle clean can increase the longevity of the BMW, but there are tons of different ways. First up and foremost, one of the biggest things is that it will prevent rust and other damage on the paint. Whenever you have road salt and bird droppings that sit on the paint, it will damage the paint and leave marks. 
So that is also another reason why you need to keep your vehicle clean. It will prevent wear and tear on mechanical components. One of the biggest reasons why is that there are drain holes along the whole vehicle. Let's just say, for example, even in this door that we're looking at here, if we look right down there at the edge of the door, there is a drain hole right down there as well too. And all four doors, they have that. So again, another reason why you should keep your vehicle clean is to prevent clogs. And that is especially crucial whenever you're driving your vehicle through the fall or even the winter time. If you are somebody who bought your BMW, this will be great beneficial to you because it will help the resale value of your vehicle of course any car that looks great you are going to get a better deal than if you were to have a car that didn't look that great so that is another reason and last but not least one of the biggest reasons you should keep your car clean is simply for your personal hygiene by making sure that your bmw is clean you yourself are also going to be very healthy as well it'll prevent bad health and also prevent your bmw from being a breeding ground for bacteria next up storing your bmw properly if you have a garage for your bmw definitely use it because this one's really really important as well harsh weather such as climates that might be too hot or even too cold as well can decrease the longevity of the bmw so if you do have a garage definitely make sure that you use it not only that if you do not have a garage another thing that you should invest in is a car cover car cover can do a great job from preventing ice being built up into your bmw and of course whenever those leaves fall your bmw on the inside will stay nice and clean now one of the most nastiest things that i will mention with bmws and this was greatly known for the last few generations as well, is that these cars can sometimes be prone to rat damage. Now, if I remember it correctly, and correct me if I'm wrong, but depending on what type of insulation that the, that the vehicles have, it could be a good attraction for rats as well. Granted, this is a very rare condition, so don't worry that rats are gonna get into your vehicle, but many of the older generation ones were prone to this. So again, make sure you keep food at your vehicle and make sure you store your BMW properly. Also, one major question that we get whenever it comes to storing a vehicle is that say for example you're going to go on a two to three week vacation and no one is going to be able to drive your vehicle well that is the case it is highly recommended that you get a trickle charger so then your bmw's battery will have a nice charge on it whenever you're gone that is going to be very very helpful for the battery and the rest of the vehicle also if you are somebody to not drive your bmw during the winter time also talk to your insurance in regards to that because you could potentially get a discount on your insurance if you're not going to be driving your vehicle but also watch out you definitely don't want to cancel your full insurance because say for example if your house got a flood you would not be covered or say for example if somebody stole your car that would also not be covered as well so definitely watch out for that one and just to piggyback off the last one it is very important to drive your vehicle regularly the main reason for this is that it keeps the vehicle in a good working condition it is recommended that you take your bmw for a spin every single week or just once a week by doing this it does prevent rust and corrosion and also a big one is that it will prevent flat spots on your tire now if a bmw or any vehicle tends to stay in the same place for a long time it could develop flat spots in the tire which could cause vibrations and even uneven wear for the tires so keep that in mind again just see this as say for example if we ourselves were sitting down in a chair for a long long time of course that is not healthy for us so treat it the same way as a vehicle as well it's not healthy for the vehicle to simply have it sit for a long long time drive it at least once a week if you can and that will keep it in a nice working order condition a couple other more details on why you should drive your vehicle is that it will improve fuel economy the way that it can do this is that whenever the vehicle sits it can degrade the fluid and lose its potency it keeps the engine lubricated which keeps it efficient and improves the fuel economy and having a car sit for a long time can have it lose air pressure as well next up if there was anything wrong with your bmw get it checked out as promptly as possible do not wait until the last minute or do not let it sit because one of the biggest things that people do wrong is if they see something wrong with their vehicle they tend to not take it seriously and by doing that it can lead to other major problems as well again the vehicle has to move in one fluid motion many of the parts all work together so if one of the parts are not working it could lead to more serious issues as well so if you ever see any signs on your dash definitely make sure you get that fixed as soon as you can call a service advisor to schedule a appointment to get that fixed by doing this you could save thousands of dollars because again small issues can lead to bigger ones and you definitely do not want to pay a big hefty price on any of those major components because we all know that german parts are not cheap at all these parts are high quality and they do come with a high price tag as well make sure you stay on top of that this can also help the resale value of a vehicle because everything that goes wrong within the vehicle or it has to get fixed or even things like oil changes and all that it does get shown on the carfax so if you are somebody who bought your vehicle and plan on reselling it eventually one day with keeping up with with any potential issues this will look good on the carfax as well which will definitely increase the value of your bmw whenever you're trying to resell it dealers and many other stores are willing to pay 
much much more for your trade-in for your bmw as a resale if they know that they can certify the bmw as well but again bmw certification is really strict even if you miss one oil change there is a good chance that your vehicle your bmw is not going to be certified which could hurt the value of your vehicle so again stay on top of it software updates is one of the newer ones that you're gonna have to pay attention to with all the new technology that are coming out with all these bmws and all cars in general it is becoming very very crucial to make sure that everything stays up to date if you have a brand new bmw you will continue to receive software updates for up to four years and whenever that is due you will get a notification that pops up on your screen letting you know that a software update is ready to download most of it is all done over the air so this is going to be something that you may not have to bring into the dealer for but of course the more that technology advances software updates can control major functions these days such as the self-drive feature or even the ability for the car to park itself it is all technology based so these software updates are going to be very crucial to make sure that you stay on top of it and of course in general it is just great to do the software updates because it will help with many things like bugs and glitches within the system and even phone connections as well these are my tips on how you can make your bmw lasts for a very long time again if you don't already know by now bmw for the last two three years according to consumer reports did rank third in terms of reliability so these cars are going to be lasting for a very very long long time so with that it is very crucial to make sure you keep up to date and make sure that your bmw is taken care of because again that is going to be one of the biggest factors on how long your bmw will last before you go make sure you like the video check out the bmw courses that we have again they are selling like crazy we plan on doing much much more they are providing a great value for all the new bmw owners so definitely take advantage of that yourself and you'll be glad you did stay tuned for the next video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already I'll see you for the next one.